so welcome back and in the last video we started building out our profile with our update profile here and our create profile um, but now if we come over and take a look at our actual profile page we can see it kind of looks like garbage um, so let's make it less garbagey so with our profile um, we're gonna have the same layout for every page so our profile page is gonna be the same as our home page so basically it's gonna be three columns here um, with a main section and then a left nav and a right uh, sidebar as well. So we're gonna start structuring that out and just kind of build this out a little bit. So this is gonna be mostly um, markup and some styling. So I've actually gone ahead here uh, and added a couple style um, files here. So primary.css, uh, I've added this so you can copy this into the or from the repo uh, I would suggest and also uh, profile.css okay so those are good so go to the github repo if you need those styles and copy that and I'm probably just gonna do the markup and speed through some of this and then kind of talk it through after that is complete so one thing we actually also want to do here is to come into our app.css, which is here. And right now we're bringing this uh, login right here, but we don't actually want to do that because that's going to apply globally if we do it here. So we're going to come into our login and we want it for our login. So we're going to come up here into our login.tsx here and just import it because we just want to use it locally here. Um, and actually, we're gonna wanna do the same thing in our uh, sign up. So come over to sign up also, and uh, we're gonna import the uh, same thing at the top here. So come in here, and we'll import styles uh, login and save that. Okay, cool. So now I'm just gonna get into the uh, markup that all, uh, after all that's done. So let's go into our profile here and uh, I'll probably just speed this up and then uh, we can we can walk it through a little bit. Okay, so now that that is all good and uh, done there, there's a few other things that we wanna make sure we add. So in our update profile, we're gonna change our button a little bit. So we're gonna change this to this, which is gonna be uh, edit profile. And then this class name, make sure you have the edit button. And then we wanna do the same thing here, same, uh, same class name, and that's just gonna be a little bit of a different style and uh, create profile for that. So make sure you add those. And then one other thing is in our app.css, we want to add, uh, I think, just this accent color here. And that's going to be for our border and whatnot. So come on back here and let's just uh, walk through this real quick. So like I said before, we're going to have a three-column kind of layout here. And that, if we come out into our uh, profile.css, actually our primary.css, and come up to the top, we're going to be using CSS grid. And uh, I don't know if we've gone over that before, but that's this is how that's gonna work. So you uh, say display grid, and this is gonna be our main layout for it, the same for each of our pages. So our home page is gonna be the same as, uh, as this after. So we wanna go display grid, and then you go grid template columns, and then the width of each column here. And FR is some sort of like fractional unit here. So 0 0.7, 1.3, and 0 0.9. So a little bit smaller. Uh, this is gonna be the largest section at 1.3 and then kind of the medium section on the right side. So this is left, middle, and then right. Uh, and the rest of the styling you can just copy down, but it's just CSS, uh, so nothing so spectacular there. Okay, so coming down in here, we haven't changed any of our uh, queries or anything, so that's good. Um, we're gonna have a primary, and this is gonna be our left nav section, which uh, I think in the next video we'll probably build out into our, our navigation on the left, okay? Um, one thing we brought in history here that is from React Router, and they have something called uh, a function called go back. So that'll just take you back 
to the last uh, screen you are on. So that is for that. Uh, we're bringing in, we're gonna have our nickname. This is gonna be an avatar. Right now we're just gonna have a placeholder, but after we're gonna uh, do uploading photos, uh, probably to Cloudinary, I'm guessing. Um, so this will be replaced in the end. And then uh, we have, uh, we're either showing our update profile or our create profile, which we did before, um, depending if we have a profile or not. Um, so that is all good. And then we wanna make do a check here to make sure there's a profile. And if there is, we're gonna show uh, these different things, our website. Oh, again, this is React Router. So that's gonna link. And that is how you do that. You give it a, this is gonna be an outside link to like a website or something. So we gotta give it a path name uh, and then uh, use uh, backticks to um, do that. So that is good. Uh, and we just hard coded some followers and stuff right now and we'll be adding that uh, later on. So let's take a look and see what this uh, looks like. So this is what we have right now. Again, this is gonna be our avatar here in the future, but it is just being hard coded now. We have edit profile. We have the website, which is a link. Uh, you can see at the bottom here, um, it goes to test.com. I don't think that's a real thing, so I won't click on it. And then our name uh, for our user is here and here. Uh, and this is a back button too, which I guess I was at the wrong link before, but uh, that'll take you back. And then again, the edit profile, we can go ahead and edit our uh, profile and update it. So that is gonna be it for this video. Um, again, this is more of a markup and styling, not too much React specific or uh, GraphQL specific stuff. But uh, yeah, on the next one, I think we'll build out our nav and then we'll get into uh, image uploading and stuff after that. So uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll see you in the next one.